But perhaps the most exotic theory about the threats of the Large Hadron Collider is the one in which a global catastrophe has already occurred, and we barely survived it. This guy's name is Max Laughlin, and he looks no older than 15. Anyway, his fans call him one of the smartest teenagers on the planet. The founder of a high-tech startup, Laughlin also demonstrates deep knowledge of physics. And according to his hypothesis, the Large Hadron Collider experiments have already brought about a global cataclysm that affected all of us. Whether it was a vacuum decay or a plasma explosion doesn't make too much of a difference. What matters here is that the survivors of this disaster were transported to a neighboring parallel universe without even noticing it, but only for a time. It's the Large Hadron Collider that Max Laughlin blames for the so-called Mandela Effect. When the rights activist and former South African President Nelson Mandela passed away on December 5, 2013, it turned out that thousands of people across the globe thought he was long dead. They were convinced he died in prison in the 80s and never got to be president. It might have been explained by mass hallucination, but today, the Mandela Effect has spread to a whole bunch of things influencing people around the world. Some claim that the mascot of the Monopoly game has always donned a monocle, even though he never has. Others are certain that in the first Star Wars sequel, Darth Vader says, Luke, I am your father. No such line is in the movie. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of examples of the Mandela Effect, and it's likely that you've experienced it too. Moreover, this theory fits in with the so-called many worlds interpretation of quantum physics, where each scientific experiment creates new universes. So are Mark Laughlin's theories really that far-fetched? What if the Large Hadron Collider did split our universe randomly throwing us into its parallel reflections, especially considering that the Mandela Effect manifested for the first time a few years after the first protons collided in the LHC? Hold on, what was that guy's name? Max or Mark? Anyway, CERN is not just bent on continuing experiments in the Large Hadron Collider. It's going to build a new one. The Future Circular Collider is a truly grand project. Its circumference of 100 kilometers will allow colliding particles at an energy of 100 tera electron volts, six times the current figure. All that's left is to find $22 billion, and the Future Circular Collider will have been built by 2050, at the latest. The purpose of it all is to make testing physical theories more thorough. But I'm stuck on the feeling that when we test them, we also test our luck and the universe at 